Good morning. This is Bill from Out of Europe in Naples, and today I have this absolutely gorgeous 2012 BMW 650i convertible. Uh, 2012 brought an all-new 6 Series, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, one of the things that's great about it is what's under the hood. It's a new 4.4-liter turbocharged V8, uh, putting out more than 400 horsepower, uh, 450 torques under there, and it is absolutely stunning. What a big, luxurious convertible. You feel like a Hollywood movie producer driving this thing. Uh, it's sporty, it's stylish, it's sleek, and uh, just absolutely stunning to look at and uh, this one has some very nice options on it very nice curb appeal uh, just a beautiful car all around according to market research if you're buying this thing uh, new it's probably your third or fourth car uh, and that is uh, you know a pretty elite class of folks if uh, unless we're talking about a big family or something which I doubt and uh, boy did they ever make it all about personal luxury look at the looks on this thing you know BMW engineers do such a fantastic job of styling the way the taillights integrate with the trunk integrates with this uh, twice pipes at the bottom there's optional 20 inch wheels the uh, fenders bulging underneath the straight line on top it's just beautiful a very nice array of chrome trim too uh, not more than you need but not less just enough to make it perfect uh, you see those big xenon headlamps with the halos the halos are uh, lighted surrounds around there that just look absolutely gorgeous and cool at night you see it's got fogs at the bottom a very low air vent uh, air dam there uh, extremely attractive kidney grills you know hearkening to every BMW ever made and uh, there it is what a uh, what a gorgeous car with a ton of eyeball I'm gonna show you a couple of neat things here we're gonna start inside the trunk which is boring but we're gonna do it anyway first of all the way this trunk opens is awesome uh, you push the top of the rondelle gives you a place to lift up here you see you got the original mats in there plenty of room very good room for a uh, for a four seat convertible you can fit golf clubs back there when the top is up you can reclaim this area here so if you have some big suitcases they'll fit in and uh, everything very very nice and cool uh, you can see the way this thing is built you know by engineers for engineers you've got these little push down stabilizers that go in these attractive you know receptacles there I love the way this too it looks like something from Star Wars this you know electrical uh, wire conduit uh, you know BMW just does a beautiful job of engineering it's what it's all about they've really unleashed their engineers and let them do what they want and the results are absolutely stellar I'm gonna run the top up for you so you can see how that works now we can do that remotely using the key I'm gonna press and hold the lock button so let's see what happens there you go you see the top cover comes up up comes the uh, very advanced foldable fabric top. Now I'm going to stop for a second so you can see just how nicely put together this is. Great insulation. Uh, it beeps at me. It's angry that I've stopped, but I'm, I'm going to keep going. Anyway, very, very nice soft top design on this car. I particularly like the flying buttresses at the rear. There you can see them uh, pointing towards the sky as the uh, top cover goes down. Okay, so there it is. Nicely sealed in place. Keep your finger on the button and all four, should say five windows goes up because that back window uh, goes up and down like, uh, you know, any other window on the car. And when the top is down, you can run that up alone and it acts as a windscreen. So very nice feature. Uh, you can see now with the top up, very, very handsome. The black top uh, matches uh, very nicely with the uh, titanium silver outside. You know, understated, elegant, sleek, sporty, powerful. Uh, you know, something about the 6 Series just says, wow, you know, this cat's made it. They probably won't make eye contact with you at the traffic light. And if they do, ah. Oh. Anyway, let me run the top back down again. Just love doing that. It does beep at you a lot. So every time you press this thing, it's just beeping. There again, up come the buttresses. Up comes the top cover, and down goes the top. I could do that all day. Perfect, nice system. It also has keyless uh, go, or I should say that's a Mercedes thing. It has comfort access. That means I can lock the car by putting my thumb there. I can open it by <laughs> with correlating beeps. 
Not sure that's necessary. Let's pop open the hood and see this new engine. Okay, so again, 4.4 liter turbocharged V8 engine. Uh, incredible engineering under the hood of this thing. That's made into an all-new eight-speed automatic transmission. So you got no shortage of speeds. You're going to know exactly uh, which one you want. You got plenty to choose from. Uh, you can see everything's mint under here. Very nice. No issues at all. Uh, exactly what you'd want to see under the hood of a very clean, low-mileage vehicle. Like all this stuff here, the styling of the cover, the way the air intakes integrate into it. Lovely, lovely. BMW just I think such good engineers. God, they really do. All right, let's have a look inside. Uh, check out these beautiful porcelain leather seats. Absolutely gorgeous. This one also has the sport package, which is quite nice. It also ups the top speed of the car from 130 to 150, governed. Of course, it'd go a lot faster. Uh, it has illuminated door sills uh, over here on the door handle. You can see these are illuminated at, nice, or at night, very nice. Uh, because it's got the sport package seats, it has uh, basically a rear end massage. Very, very nice setup. You just sit in that thing, you hit that button, and it gives your uh, posterior a rub. Now, these seats are in fantastic shape. The iPhone always picks up shading like dirt. Uh, there is no dirt. This leather is exceptional, and it's all about comfort. What you've got here is you've got uh, uh, dual power, uh, you know, like 22-way leather seats. They've got, uh, of course, the rump massage, uh, memory, and, uh, you know, little things like the sport package, thigh support, very, very nice. Uh, and uh, they are heated and ventilated. Uh, also, they give your rear passengers a little button so they can move you forward and torment you. So if you've got Canadians back there, they're going to screw with you. Uh, in the back, you can probably put your friends in there without losing them. Uh, you know, it's uh, not the, uh, you know, roomiest spot in the world, but it's comfy enough. And they'll be able to uh, sit back there on the way to the restaurant or whatnot. Uh, beautiful uh, optional leather stitching on the door panels and dashboard on this car. You see the black with the white contrast in stitching. Uh, beautiful. The dark uh, maple style wood there. Not sure what kind of wood it is. In Mercedes, that'd be bird's eye maple. BMW, I'm not as familiar with. Uh, you see all the different uh, window switches. This runs that back window. This runs all four windows, and then this runs them individually. And that's your power mirror. Over here, you've got pretty standard BMW style uh, light control, your fogs, you know, automatic lamps. Nice, nice. What you need. And let's hop in and watch all these electronics come to life. So, of course, I just had to put my foot on the brake and tap the start-stop button. It sensed the key. Get my uh, seatbelt on there so it stops binging at me and turn the radio down. So, a beautiful sort of hybrid of electronic and analog gauges. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, you can see everything that you need. Uh, you know, tack, uh, temp, gas, miles per hour. You got a little efficiency gauge there. Of course, your clock. Uh, you can see just uh, 21,000 miles on the clock of this thing. Look at that, 5,000 on the trip. Nobody's reset that in a while. Uh, you got a beautiful fat leather steering wheel with uh, humps at the 10 and 2. You got the flippity flips. What's nice in this generation is they actually gave you a proper plus and minus. The BMWs from the years before just had the two things, and you kind of had to guess which one did what on the fly. It wasn't, wasn't much fun uh, if you're kind of a maroon in the mornings like I am. Uh, here you can see multifunction wheel. You can up your radio volume, change your modes, your telephone control. It's got voice control, so let's see what that does. I'll try that. 92.5. It's thinking about it. You are listening to 92.5 FM. I certainly am, and thank you. We'll try that again. 90.1. You are listening to 90.1 FM. Oh, God, she's so sexy, that girl. Uh, anyway, she's changing my radio stations around. Very, very nice. Uh, you can see, uh, what do we got here? Uh, AM, FM, satellite. You got a weather band if there's a hurricane approaching. Uh, you got your, uh, here's your full menu. That gives you all the different stuff you might need. Uh, your uh, Bluetooth. Very nice. Look at this navigation screen. 
it's huge and it's clear and it's gorgeous and it goes into some kind of satellite thing there i feel like i'm in the nasa control center with that one you actually got like the continental shelf i think i see a sailfish out there uh very very cool stuff and again look at the leather on the dash the stitching beautiful absolutely beautiful hand stitched leather steering wheel uh, you know, the way the vents and the wood and the aluminum trim are integrated, just beautifully done. Nice big radio panel here for your uh, CD player and uh, various bits of stuff. You've got your climate control here, of course, dual sides. There's your heated seats. I don't know why they're green. Uh, and you've got your uh, ventilated seats. We'll leave those on a little bit. Uh, and of course, that's driver and passenger. And the nice thing is the passenger seat also has the ass massage feature. So uh, your passengers are gonna love you for that. Uh, here's a self-dimming mirror, very, very nice. Uh, also with Homelink garage door and a very muted version of BMW's uh, Kojak bubble. Uh, I'm sure that's just a motion sensor. Uh, here you've got uh, your iDrive control that controls this big guy up here. And uh, nicely, instead of just one nondescript knob in earlier models, they give you all the individual functions so you can hit those and not have to guess at it. Uh, you got a uh, what used to be an ashtray probably in the 80s is now just a 12 volt outlet with a place to put stuff. Give that a click. It's all leather wrap too. It's just a so nice. You got a uh, lovely big you know center console there with opening flaps. Uh, this will run the top by uh, by hand or you know by by not by automatic just when you press it uh, this is their uh, very modern uh, you know shift control for that eight speed uh, this is kind of cool stuff so now, right now we're in comfort mode you can see that there if I go forward I can get into normal I don't know the difference between that and comfort I mean if I have to choose between normal and comfort I think I'll just take comfort uh, you've got sport which you can uh, you know, it changes the uh, the engine and the suspension settings, stiffens them up a little bit, changes your shift points probably. Uh, you can go into Sport Plus, which is pretty cool, and I'm sure we can get into launch control there, but we're not going to do that. Uh, look at that dynamic traction control activated. How cool is that? So I'm going to go back and show you that again. So there's Sport and there's Sport Plus, very cool. So with manual shifting and Sport Plus, you can blow the doors off your neighbor in his Bentley and really torture him. Uh, beautiful stuff everywhere, lovely to look at, nice fit and finish. Let's go for a spin. So I'm gonna do that with the rump massage on. You see that green button? That's gonna be giving my posterior a nice little, you know, rub down as we go for a spin. It's much more, uh, you know, you feel it more than you think you would. It's not really subtle. It's almost like a German masseuse. Uh, going down the road, absolutely incredible. There's beautiful modulation on the brake pedal. They give you a nice amount of travel. You can, you know, put yourself through the windshield almost if you nail it, or you can just, you know, come to a very slow halt. Uh, the steering is light and precise. It's all computer controlled. Um, you know, the road feel is, is incredible and everything is just lovely to drive this car and you got a really nice burble from that v8 engine are we in sport what's fair yes we are in sport so oh yeah you hit it and listen to that that was nothing that was you know little more than quarter throttle breaks the rear tires loose gives you a little bit of a v8 scream of rage if i had turned off the traction control and nailed it you'd be wheel spinning sideways and torturing the hell out of all the people around you these uh, bicyclists probably would have jumped for their lives so uh that takes some of the fun out of my morning commute when i can yeah i see you there bentley guy i think i can get you uh anyway um yeah if i hammer it around here everybody's going to be tormented so i just can't have the fun that this car is capable of uh you know holding it out to 7000 rpm red line that's a lot for an eight uh manually flipping oh my god i tell you you're gonna have the time of your life doing that but probably should do it on a track you know, let's try this again oh god there's so much waiting to do here all right i can't do it uh, i'll show you one more quick thing this is kind of neat I can run the top at this speed. I'm going to press this guy down. Let's see. There it is. So you can see I'm running about 20 miles an hour. <laughs> I got a little bit too fast, all right? About 24, 25. I've got my top coming down. I'm waving at the people. 
and everything lovely. All right, that's hard to do with one hand. Go easy on me for crying out loud. Anyway, take my word for it. 24, 25 miles an hour. You can run with the uh, the top, move it up or down. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, very, very nice feature on this car. Very modern, proper car. So, look, here it is. 2012 BMW 650i. 21,000 miles. Great options on this car. Mint, mint, mint. Beautiful colors. Titanium, silver, porcelain inside. And, uh, you know, what a fantastic machine to operate. You're going to feel like you made no compromises at all. And that's because you didn't. Uh, you bought an incredible car. If you have an interest, give us a call. 239-649-7300. On the web at MercedesExpert.com. Uh, thank you so much for having a look. We really appreciate it. And we'll see you with the next one. Take care. I'm going to put this top back down. Hell with it. Look at that. Take care again. Bye.